Council members, Tom Allspot, 295 Bay Street, Easton. Uh, I won't repeat myself. I, I assure you from last time I was here, I appreciate the time you afforded me last time. Um, I, I came just to offer something up and just to ask uh, one question. What, what I want to offer up is, is, is um, some drawings, and, and you may have these. You, you asked at the last uh, hearing whether you had seen or could have uh, drawings of, of the elevations in the layout, and I have these here that were presented to the, uh, uh, I believe, the Board of, of uh, Housing. It's not intended to be uh, a final proposal by any means. Mr. Smith is certainly affirm that, but it's a conceptual plan. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to draw your attention to is, is the second page. This is two pages. It's the second page which shows the, the layout. And, and this, this transcends whether there's affordable housing included or not. This is just the, the gross number of units um, which are proposed to be put into, I think, 11 different three-story towers. Um, and I think the concern has to be with the, <clears throat> and again, irrespective of the affordable housing element, just the inherent density of this proposal for this location. And I would ask you to look carefully at the, um, uh, the two entrances and exits that go directly on the Route 50. Th this is proposed to be 240 dwelling units, which means probably around 500 cars, but both people have a car all exiting the development right directly onto Route 50 with no traffic signal uh, with whatever chaos would ensue. And I, and I think that the, the problem is, you know, we, we admittedly we need these additional affordable housing units, but I think trying to shoehorn so dense a project into this location is, is a mistake. And one of the plan commission members uh, who voted against the annexation made the same point that you're creating kind of a, uh, a massive enclave out there uh, which is not connected to Easton in any way uh, but it is connected to the most heavily traveled dangerous highway in, in the community. Um, so I, I think the council needs to give very careful consideration to whether, whether uh, an annexation for the purpose of this dense a project is, is a wise idea. Um, and I just wanted you to have these drawings so that you at least have some sense of what uh, the developers were thinking, thinking about when they, when they pulled these, uh, these things together. I, I hope the other question or comment I would have, I'm not going to make it a question because I don't need to have an answer, but given that uh, there is under consideration a means of a fee in lieu of uh, ha affordable housing, as an element of uh, your, your planning uh, documents and your zoning ordinance, um, you know, might there be a question of whether there would be any affordable housing here? Granted, if there isn't, some funds would have to be given to the, uh, donated to the housing board at a, at a defined rate, but um, there has to be some reasonable possibility that there won't be any affordable housing here. This will be 240 uh, housing units in a very squeezed into a very dangerous location and I think that um, that issue should be addressed and worked out before uh, you take the step of annexation after which there is build by right opportunities for a developer and you you have to allow some level of development once the property is in the town I beat that horse last time and I won't do it again so thank you very much I appreciate your time great thank appreciate you it. are there any other members of the community Sir. Greetings, Terrence, Bernard, Easton, Maryland. I live off Dutchman's Lane. I'd just like to add a comment. We're talking about this development, which is by the Unitarian Church up the road a bit. But there's also a development soon to open up across from the Royal Farms out in that field out there. I think it starts this year. So you got uh, congestion there. You got congestion filter filtering out of there on both units now. Uh, coming out of Dutchman's Lane onto 50 for me at the stoplight, there's so many people that roll that light that roll that stop sign or stoplight to get onto 50. Cars are coming up 55 miles an hour at least plus. 
And then you get these people every so often. They can, they can turn after they stop there to get on the 50. They don't. There's a merging lane there for them to accelerate up the speed to get onto the 50. They don't. They just sit there. You know, so that's another uh, diamond that's going to be a, a hold back there. I really think that they need to think, get the Highway Commission involved and set up another signal upways three quarters of a mile to let them with a flashing light, green light, red light, so they can prepare to slow down and even lower the speed at that point for cars on 50. <coughs> of course, the highway is going to say that we have a priority to get people to Ocean City, but you've got all these people that live in that area that are going to merge on the 50. And uh, it's going to be a big problem. I do like the comment that if you can put some affordable housing in there, put it in there now because when it gets annexed, like was said at the last meeting, you can't change it. So, so do your thoughts, get together and work together well beforehand. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments from the public? Seeing none, we will leave the public comment or public comment open until the, the next meeting.